TGIF, beautiful people. It's Friday. Yes, we made it through yet another week. I have to chuckle. Uh, producer Danielle just told me seconds before the show, today was national laugh day, but I can't hear very well. And I thought she said, it's National Rock Day, like we're rocking out and I don't play guitar. Anyway, Trent, we're laughing, we're rocking. I've got a high ponytail going down right now that makes me feel like Jeannie. Boing, how are you? <laughs> Trent? No one can stop you with a high pony, Christine. Oh, this. I mean, let's just high kick it into the weekend. Never. It's an honor to be here. I can't. Uh, <laughs> rise to the occasion of Kara's storytelling, but I will try. And let's highlight some kids who are making a difference, some young little uh, kids with ideas and ready to rock. And that is so true of nine-year-old yeah. CEO <laughs> Zoe and her mom, Ivana. You know, when she was just six, she went to the classroom and she uh, saw other little girls with, with straight hair and had dolls with straight hair and they didn't look like her braids and curls and she told her mom, I don't like right. my hair. Well, mom Ivana told little Zoe to get empowered and, and make a difference and she did that with her own doll line that have braids and curls. They call it Beautiful Curly Me. And it's their own line oh, that now has yeah. books and clothing. They even donate a percentage of their proceeds uh, to kids in need. So they're they're really doing it up. And the sweetest little dolls even say um, on the little T-shirt, curly and confident. So now she's a nine-year-old CEO. She's definitely Ooh. confident and uh, uh, with, with such a cute doll line that looks just like her. Trent, that is amazing. And we always talk about how um, our minds are blown each and every day on this show. Well, mainly with kids who are doing something for others. And in this case, you know, a, a little girl, uh, I can't imagine what she's gonna do as an adult, uh, really just wanting to inspire other young women just like herself, um, you know, to know that she's, they're awesome just the way they are. So I love that. Amen. It's just the beginning for Zoe and another kid that is just getting out into the community and making a difference. That six-year-old Marcus, he's just a kindergartner, but he was driving along after school one day with his mom and he said, how hard is it to do a cleanup? He heard at school that a skate park was kind of in disarray. And in these COVID times, the past year, they've been very active and out on their trails. And his mom said, okay, well, we can do it. Let's get some brooms and shovels and garbage bags and gloves and get out to those trails that we've been on so much and get that cleanup started. So little Marcus and his mom collected like seven bags of oh. trash and really cleaned up their area. And so, I mean, he said himself, you can oh. do it at, at any age. She's only six, but, but just to make a difference. Trent, you know, I live on, you know, kind of a busy street and it drives me crazy when I go to my mailbox and I see litter that people just toss things. It drives me nuts. And I always tell my kids when you have an opportunity, you know, grab something, pick it up, you know, let's uh, do something nice for planet Earth and for our environment and our community. So I love that. We are highlighting the kids today. Amen. When each of us <laughs> does a small act, it really becomes a big, big uh, collective. So we're going to end yes. with grandmothers. What? How important is a relationship with your grandparent? God knows I think of mine every day. They're my patron saints oh. above. Um, and know. that is definitely the case with grandmother Evelyn, who hasn't seen her granddaughter in a year. And she just got her vaccinations. Oh, her gosh. granddaughter has been following COVID protocols, but they haven't been able to embrace to a hug for a year. Well, her daughter, who is a doctor, came with the granddaughter and had a little surprise for Evelyn, a prescription to hug your granddaughter. So they got that embrace. They said it yeah. felt, oh. it meant the world to you, know, you just have that moment. And so now, I mean, we're off to the races, right, CP? 
Yes, Trent. And you know, I'm going uh, to California next week and my mom has had her vaccines. She is feeling great and I just cannot wait to hug her so tightly. I mean, it makes me teary eyed. I just, I know how hard it's been. Um, if you are touchy feely like I am, um, it's just, uh, you know, it's just been so, so hard uh, missing out on that affection. And um, I, I know I, for everybody out there who um, I'm just kind of giving you a, a air hug right here. I know it's it's not the same, but thank you, Trent. And we should mention uh, poor Kara was having signal issues. I all week had Wi-Fi issues. So thank you for filling in for her, Trent. You did an amazing job. And I'm going to see you, my friend, at the end of the show. I'll see ya. All right, guys, if you have a fun or interesting It's All Good story, please share it with us. It's simply facebook.com slash ATL and Co. Or tweet us using that hashtag, It's All Good.